Hi, I'm Patricia Power. Welcome to episode three. Up to now, we've looked at the exterior of the house. We looked at the walls, the external walls, the windows and doors. Now in episode three, what we're gonna look at is the insulation within the attic, within the roof space. So we're up here in the attic now, and you can see that there is 400 mil of insulation here under my hands. So that is run between the ceiling joists and it is run over the joists so to give you an overall depth of 400 mil. So in new homes today, we, that would be anything from 300 mil to 400 mil. When we got up into the attic of Ronan's house, he had absolutely no insulation at all within the ceiling joists. Normally, when I go to people's homes, I always get it's cold, it's drafty, it's freezing. And we always discuss the different areas of upgrade and how we can do it. And one of the areas that we always talk about, and it's a very straightforward area to actually upgrade quite quickly, would very, very, very high impact would be to insulate between the ceiling joists. And generally, most situations, they're living with 100 mil of insulation between the joists. And then we upgrade this to another 200 or another 300. But in Ronan's situation, this is very unique where there's absolutely no insulation at all within the, ce within the ceiling joists. 30% of the heat loss in a home is through the roof. So if you think about it, there is no point in insulating the walls and the windows and doors and upgrading them and spending a lot of valuable money in that area if we're not going to put a nice warm cozy hat on the house to keep the heat in. So what this is doing, it's providing the hat for the home and it's keeping the heat in. So there's no heat loss through the ceiling at all in this situation. So that's what we would be recommending to Ronan's home, that we insulate between the ceiling joists in both directions in order to get a good airtight seal. And we'll put in three or 400 mil of insulation within the ceiling joists. The lads in doing the insulation in the attic today, um, that's a major, major step in the whole process because as you know, heat rises. And the heat rises in the home through the roof. So hopefully this insulation there will stop all of that. So adding attic insulation into Ronan's home is a very simple, quick, fast and effective solution. In the next episode, we plan on looking at the different ways of heating your home. So please join us for the next episode. In the meantime, if you require any information or you want to kickstart the retrofit process in your own home, please go to the Unpost Green Hub website.